my channel and if you're new what up so you guys i have another sas sale haul for you guys listen i wasn't even planning on going back to the sale i wasn't planning on buying any of these items that i have right now they were actually doing a one dollar pocket back promotion which got me into the store and then while i was in there i saw a lot of these products for 75 percent off i also had a coupon so i was like you know what why not why not go ahead and pick these items up because on any given day at any given time i wouldn't have bought these things i didn't buy them when i first went to sas and even when i saw that they were marked down i still wasn't like rushing and running out to go and get these products these are not products that i necessarily needed you know i just kind of saw them and they were on sale and i wanted them and that's that so um, i'm gonna show you guys what i got because i do have two bags here so we're just gonna go through it okay so the first thing in here is another set of the sparkling orange spritz. I actually really like this scent. Um, this is one of the ones that I could have saw myself buying, but I actually ended up really liking it. So it's Sunkissed Mandarin Bubbly Prosecco Citrus Soda. I should have known that I was going to like this one because I mean, it's a bubbly, citrusy, fizzy soda type of scent. I really, really like the balance of like the citrusy sweetness and the soda. It kind of really does smell like an orange crush soda or something like that. So yeah, I do really like this one and I actually really like the packaging. Like the orange is very bright for summer. Um, I love the little straw inside of the bottle. I think it's cute. Like this whole summer line was really, really cute. So I did pick up another set of that. I also got two shower gels of Cotton Candy Clouds. Cotton Candy Clouds is a scent that I know I like, but I just had backups of it already. So I didn't feel the need to like hoard a ton of it for SAS. As much as I like the scent, you know, I just don't want to have a ton of it laying around. So this definitely smells like all the other versions of Cotton Candy Clouds. Um, it's spun sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. It literally smells like sweet, yummy cotton candy. It's a very soft scent. It's never been super overpowering or like heavy but it's just a super nice sugary sweet type of scent like whenever you're craving something like that so um i do like the packaging on cotton candy clouds the entire little salt shack line i didn't like the packaging on it but for cotton candy clouds i think it's cute like it's decent enough but a lot of people did not like this little like cartoon drawing or whatever but i mean i like it i like the color of the actual body wash and everything i think it's okay so yeah i did get two of those and then i ended up getting these two scents which i let you guys know that they weren't wowing they weren't anything to write home about they weren't something to go crazy over and stock up on and hoard or anything like that so um i did find the what is this whipped coconut milkshake shower gel and spray my store didn't have any of the lotions or creams and that was fine with me again like i said this is not a scent that i feel like i need to like hoard and have a ton of um so i did get two sets of this but one is to kind of keep for like collection purposes i don't really like saying that because like i'm trying to downsize my collection but one of them is for me to actually keep and hold on to and refer back to but this is um whipped coconut milkshake so it's vanilla ice cream toasted coconut and sugar amber once i actually put this scent on my skin i kind of understood it because smelling it just straight from the cap like i don't know to me it really just smells like a toasty amber scent Smelling it straight from the cap, I don't get a whole lot of that like tropical beachy coconut or something really, really creamy like vanilla ice cream. But once I actually put it on my skin, it does smell like a vanilla ice cream type of scent with a twist. So then I can really like smell the coconut come through, the amber comes through. It is very toasty. It's very warm. Um, but there's something like creamy and sweet about it when it's on my skin at first, which is the vanilla ice cream. So the scent itself is cute, but... I don't know it just wasn't wowing like it wasn't wowing enough for me i want to be able to smell the scent straight out of the bottle straight out of the cap and love it and then put it on my skin and love it even more for this one it was kind of just like basic and meh when i smelled it out of the cap and then when i put it on my skin i was like oh okay now i get all of the scent notes so yeah it's a vanilla ice cream kind of really really warm ambery coconut type of scent so like i said i did get um two sets of this so that's the first set and then here is the second set and then i did get two of the fruity sherbet scoop so this one i like a lot more than the whipped coconut milkshake y'all know i'm a gourmand lover but i actually like this scent a lot more than that one so this one is rainbow sherbet zesty orange sunkissed strawberry so this actually smells like something like sweet and ice creamy 
and sherbet -y. like it kind of smells like that in my opinion i definitely get like a zing from the orange i definitely get like a tart strawberry like it does smell like a mashup of fruity sherbet type scents it's just all around good like i really can picture like a bowl with rainbow sherbet ice cream in it when i smell this scent so i do like this one again it's not wowing enough for me to like hoard it but just having the two backups one to use and then one to just keep in my collection for a couple of years it's fine it's nice so yeah fruity sherbet scoop is okay um the packaging again people hated these packagings and i can understand why like it's so like kitty and childlike but yeah dig it those okay and then for the next bag i did go ahead and pick up a full set of cucumber melon and i wanted this set because like i told you guys in my summer fragrance video i want to use cucumber melon that is definitely something that i have been craving here recently i think it is a perfect warm weather scent it's like super refreshing it's literally like a drink of cucumber water for your body so i wanted to go ahead and pick up another full set of this and this one has the 25th fragrance anniversary on it so i want this set again to kind of keep for collection purposes because it does have that 25th anniversary um writing on it so i thought this one would be cute to like just have and then i can use my other set of cucumber melon but this is classic nostalgia it's fresh it has a little bit of a like sweet fruity honeydew melon note but for the most part it's just like cucumber watery goodness like i don't know it just smells so good so it's crisp cucumber watery honeydew summer cantaloupe sparkling grapefruit and sheer woods i feel like those scent notes are new are those new i don't remember it being no grapefruit i don't remember it being no summer cantaloupe i don't know the only thing i remember cucumber melon being is like the crisp cucumber the honeydew and the woods i don't remember no grapefruit nothing but it smells the exact same. It smells like old school, classic cucumber melon. It doesn't smell any different. So I'm not sure where those scent notes come from. Or maybe those are the older scent notes. And like they just changed them over the years. And now they have the original ones back on the packaging. I'm not sure. But I'm happy to have that one. I did get a shower gel and a lotion back up to Poolside Cabana, which is actually my scent of the day. Um, I really do like Poolside Cabana. It's crisp hair, warm breeze, solar sandalwood. So I will say like, if you're not a fan of like the whole cleaning product, citrusy smelling scents, then you probably wouldn't like this because even though it says crisp hair, I actually smell something a little bit zingy in this as well, like some type of lime or something like that. I don't know. It's definitely not the pear smelling like that because the pear kind of gives it more of this fruity kind of fresh smell and then there's something zingy in there as well and then it's also warm so it's literally like a fizzy tropical summer drink fragrance like you definitely get the warmth of the sandalwood and the warm breeze whatever that is and then you also get the pear like a, there's a fruitiness but then there's something like fizzy as well and i believe that's why they have this little lime pool float on the front because it's definitely giving something zingy so i did actually use this shower gel today i put the lotion on i sprayed the spray on and then i added a perfume which i made a shorts video about a layering combination for this one so definitely go and check that out but i did go ahead and pick up a backup to this one because i actually do really like the scent it's a nice refreshing summertime scent i probably would only enjoy that in the summertime but it's nice to have like and again the packaging on this is just super cute love the lime green color for the shower gel and i love the packaging on this it just looks really fun summery refreshing it's cute okay and then on to what i actually went in there for which is the pocket bags i did get quite a few pocket bags so i did get two of the pear vanilla i feel like i'm really really gonna like this scent i remember they had a hand soap in this scent and i just have not seen it in a while i think this was meant to be like a fall scent but i haven't seen that hand soap in a while so i picked up a couple of those and i probably will pick up more um i did pick up four of the marshmallow treat hand sanitizer so i thought the packaging on this was super super cute i don't know why this is giving me like back to school but that's what it's giving me so i did pick up four of those and that one smells so good like it literally smells like a rice crispy treat it literally smells like sweet marshmallows ooey gooey treats so i really like that one okay and then i did pick up two of the pink bubble gum i actually have a bubble gum scent on my pocket bag right now and 
I don't remember how many of those I bought, but I bought quite a few of those. So for pink bubble gum, I only picked up two of these because I didn't need a whole lot of that fragrance. I picked up one watermelon lemonade because it's a classic and I love that scent. I did pick up two of the fruit squeeze. This one is super, super orangey, super, super citrusy, but I love the packaging on it. Again, it's like that bright orange summery fun color. So I had to have that one. And then the last ones I got are two ice dragon fruit tea. I have fallen in love with this scent. I have been using so many of the wallflowers around my house. I have one going right now in a wallflower in my living room. I love ice dragon fruit tea. This scent has been doing it for me for the summertime. So I had to get two of those pocket bags and that is literally it, you guys. So a nice little short haul, not too much stuff. Like I said, if I didn't go in for those pocket bags and have a coupon and see all of this stuff on sale, it wouldn't have came home with me, okay? Okay. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy seeing this haul, seeing what I got, and you're going to enjoy seeing combinations with some of these fragrances. So definitely leave me a comment down below letting me know how you feel about these scents as well. Did you pick up any of the pocket bags during the $1 pocket bag sale? Leave all of that down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Fragrance and Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.